Okay, we're going to be looking at a method called completing the square that will help us to find the center and radius of a circle. So uh, what we're going to need to do, first of all, is just kind of follow this procedure. It's going to look a little bit different than things you've done before, but when we get done, you're going to find out it works. And that's the important thing. So the first thing you need to do is get all the x's and y's on one side and the constants on the right side. And also the second thing, I usually do those two steps kind of together. Put the parentheses with x's, x's in a parenthesis with the space at an end and the y's in a parenthesis with the space at the end. And then the constants over here. So to move the 4 over there, I would have to minus 4 from both sides. So that's going to give me a minus 4. And then what I'm talking about with grouping the x's and y's is I'm going to have an x squared plus 14x. And then I'm going to have a y squared minus 12y. Now the key thing here is I'm looking, uh, the third step is the big thing. I'm going to take half the coefficient of the x and square it. So the coefficient is 14. Take half of it and square it. So that's going to be 7 squared. So I'm going to add 7 squared here in this parenthesis, and I'm going to add 7 squared to the other side. Remember, if you do something to one side of the equation, you also have to do it to the other side of the equation. Now on this one, I'm going to add a negative 6 squared, so plus a negative 6 squared, and then I'm going to add a negative 6 squared to this side as well. And uh, that's how you get started. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor the x's and y's. So when I factor those, it's always going to factor as x plus 7. Just bringing down whatever number I added in squared is going to be how it factors. And then that's going to be a plus y minus 6, bringing that down. And then on the other side, you're going to have to do a little bit of simplifying. So I'm going to pull up Desmos, and I'm going to do negative 4 plus 7 squared, and then plus and I could do negative 6 squared. If you do the negative 6, be sure you put it in parentheses like this. But notice that I get the same thing if I just do 6 squared. I usually don't type in negative numbers squared because a negative times a negative will be a positive anyway. And that's a little quicker than having to deal with all those parentheses and potentially type something in wrong and miss it. So what you're going to have there is a negative 4 plus uh, 7 squared plus 6 squared is that's going to be an 81. So that means that is going to be equal to 81. Now at this point, I have the equation in standard form. So if I want the center and the radius, I would think my center would be negative 7, uh, positive 6. And the radius would be square root of 81, which is 9. So if you wanted to sketch the graph of your circle, well, that's going to be a terrible place to sketch it. Let me try again up here. Uh, negative 7, 6 would be somewhere over there. And a radius of 9 would mean it would go all the way over here. Wow, this is still going to be kind of off my screen. But that gives you an idea of a circle that looks something like that, but it went off the edge of my screen. Uh, anyway, now one thing I do want to illustrate to you is that you could always, if you needed the center and the radius, we could always do it this way, or we could check it with Desmos. And I'm going to do a second video in a minute on how to check these with Desmos. Uh, let's go ahead and do another example, though, because I'm sure this is brand new to most of you, and a little bit more practice is needful. So uh, the next one, what I can do is I can uh, group them together. So that's going to be an x squared plus 8x, and then a y squared plus 32y. And I'm about to run out of room, but that should equal negative 263. Well, I am totally running out of room. I'm just going to write that down there, I guess, negative 263. Now the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add half of those coefficients squared. So half of the 8 is 4 squared. Put it there and put it there. And then half of 32 is 16 squared. Well, I'm evidently too close to the edge of my screen to write very well. I'm sorry about that. So plus 16 squared. And then you factor it out. When you factor it out, remember what you're going to have is an x plus 4 squared plus a y plus 16 squared equals, and then go to Desmos and do neg uh, negative 263 and so on. So the truth is, once I put that in Desmos, I get a 9. So it looked kind of ugly at first, but that's actually a very pretty answer once you add everything in. Center should be negative 4, negative 16. Radius is 3, and 